there are a lot of movie channels on YouTube, and there's a lot of discussion on YouTube, and I guess the internet in general, but on YouTube there's lots of discussion about movies and how critics react to them, but oftentimes the term critic is conflated with reviewer or access media or even film historians. Maybe not so much that last one, but as long as we're on the subject, what is a film historian? And what is a film critic? What are movie reviewers? And what's the access media? And, and why is conflating all of these things a problem? Well, it turns out I am a film historian, so we'll start there. Now, when I say I'm a film historian, I don't just mean, oh, I've got a letterbox account. Uh, I think that's what a lot of people mean when they say that now, but I, I've actually been contractually employed as a film historian for years uh, with Turner Classic Movies alone since 2011, where I'm paid to research movies, write about movies, provide information on movies, get background on movies, get the history behind the movie, like an historian. So. There are two different kinds of film historians. There's the kind you get, like me, where there's just this lifelong love of film and this study of film that started when I was around five or six, probably, and it just blossoms into something you constantly write about and speak about until people finally take notice and you start getting jobs and you start getting published. Then there's academic film historians, people who literally went to school to get a degree in film and generally teach. Now, there are film historians in the academic world who don't have degrees in film, but have degrees in, say, English or journalism. The difference between film academics, film historians, is pretty minor, quite frankly. Essentially, it's the degree or the teaching that would probably distinguish them. But uh, generally speaking, and don't hold me to this, uh, don't quote me on this exactly. Well, you, you can because I'm not going to list any names. I've generally found the more academic film historians are generally a bit on the drier side when it comes to discussing film, in my experience. And my experience is pretty good because for years now, and when I say years, I mean at least around 20 years now, I've been fairly embroiled in the world of film criticism. Many of the film critics you read, many of the film critics you've seen or you've listened to, I probably have some sort of casual relationship with them. At the very least, I'm an acquaintance. But for the most part, Movie critics are, are different than movie historians. Uh, a movie historian is somebody like me who's just he's doing the research and I'm writing about older movies and I'm writing about things from the 30s and the 40s and the 50s and the 60s. And, and, and a, a movie critic is someone who's actively going to current releases or at least in the case of older movies, movies that have been restored, say, uh, and re-released. Uh, and they're going to those and they're writing those up. Now, the difference between that and a movie reviewer is fairly, fairly limited, but there's still a distinction there. When I think of a, of a movie critic, I think of someone who analyzes movies, uh, like an Andrew Cyrus or Pauline Kael in the classic sense. Someone who goes to a movie, and then they provide a full written essay on that movie. And nowhere in their written essay is there a thumb up or a thumb down or a star rating. They simply write up the experience of the movie. And you can usually tell from their essay where they fall on the movie, whether they liked it or not or loved it or hated it, generally speaking. But they don't view their job or their position as being out there to sell the movie to you or not sell the movie to you, but rather to give you their impression of the movie, to analyze it so that you can decide if, if it's something you want to see or if you've already seen it, read their essay and get a better understanding of it. 
Now, a movie reviewer is generally what we all grew up with, the kind of stuff you see in, in, in magazines and back in the day in local newspapers and uh, on, on local television stations, where basically you get a very short one paragraph plot summary and then kind of a, and the acting was great, or the other thing could have used some work, and then they give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. That's kind of what a movie reviewer does. And that's a large percentage of what people think about when they think about film criticism, which is why people like me who have spent a lot of years in 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 the world of film criticism, why it, why it kind of irritates us, because movie reviewers are not the same thing as a movie critic, which is not the same thing as a movie historian. Now, again, there's tons of overlap. Roger Ebert and Gene Siskel were both film critics and film reviewers, or movie reviewers. I, I interchange those terms a lot, so just get used to it, hearing me say film and movie and movie and film. They, they were both critics and reviewers. If you watched their show, you were watching them as movie reviewers. They gave you a very quick kind of rundown and summary of what the movie was. Had a very, very terse back and forth, sometimes friendly, and then gave the old thumbs up or thumbs down. But if you read the reviews in the Chicago Sun-Times or the Chicago Tribune, you'd get a much more fleshed out analysis of the movie itself, or at the very least, what their feelings were on the movie. So. They were one of those rare cases where they were both kind of reviewers and critics at the same time. Now, when people talk derisively about critics, about them having some kind of a built-in bias or prejudice against a certain filmmaker or actor or, or studio, uh, that, that's like 100% bull****. I mean, it really is. I, I, I've, I've been involved in the film critic community like I said, for a good 20 years now. And with no real exceptions I can think of, everybody in it got into it simply because they loved movies and they like watching movies and writing about movies. And they don't give two what anyone thinks about what they think about the movie. So they're not out there to stroke anyone's ego or get in line behind whatever a movie studio is putting the movie out. That's what the access media does. And that's where people get confused. When they say, oh, the film critics are all in the pockets of the studios. No, the film critics aren't. No film critics are in the pockets of the studios. Film media, access media, they're in the pockets of the studios. Access media, now when we talk about access media, You've seen Access Media. You've seen the, the articles, the Deadline, Screen Rant, uh, Hollywood Reporter, Variety. That's pretty much Access Media. They have movie reviews and they have movie reviewers, but they are varying levels of trustworthiness. Um, you can be fairly positive whenever a movie comes out that gets pretty shit upon by both the public and critics that you'll get an article from one of those organizations kind of talking about why everybody's wrong and it's really a good movie and it's really being unfairly criticized and so on because they've been given a call or a text from someone in the studio saying, hey, this thing is getting like put through the ringer can you can you can you put something out there that kind of says it's really not that bad and if you can if you can maybe blame it on somebody say they're misogynist or racist or something i don't know but just just put something out there would kind of turn the tide now i think that's worked a few times in the past but it doesn't work that much anymore because i think people are kind of on to that that game and, and how it works. And believe me, I, I, I know people in access media. I'm not close to anybody in access media and I don't really have any relationships online with any of them and I really would never want to because they really, truly, they're just shills. 
They're shills. That's what they are. They're not film historians or movie historians. They're not critics. They're not reviewers. They are shills. And so there's a few channels out there that use the term access media whenever they speak about this kind of thing. And I salute those channels. Keep it up. Please keep doing that. But to everybody else who's not doing that, please stop conflating reviewers and critics and historians with access media because we are not access media. Access media is garbage. Uh, don't believe a word you hear from access media. If they get it right, it's just sheer chance, okay? If they write something about how some movie that has been absolutely dumped on is really good, and it turns out the movie actually is good, and it really was unfairly dumped on, it's, it's just like a one in a million shot and they got lucky. Because generally speaking, they're just there to tow the party line so they can keep getting access to inside the studio, so they can keep doing their publicity articles for when a, a new movie's coming out or get a behind the scenes, uh, which people like to read. I mean, I've got no problem with that aspect of the access media. I really don't. Uh, I have more of a problem with uh, the people online confusing me or, or anyone I know who works in film criticism with the access media. Please stop doing that. Critics and reviewers and historians do have their own personal biases as well. I mean, I've got some. I know that people I am friends with online have theirs. There are certain actors we just don't really like that much. There are certain directors we don't like. But the difference is if I go into a movie written and directed by someone I can't stand and it's a terrific movie, I'm pretty much going to come out of it thinking that was a terrific movie. I, I, I'm going to be swayed by what I see on the screen, not by what I hold in, in my heart against or for this person. There, there have been many, many times when I have gone into a movie because I specifically love the lead actor or love the director and then I just walked out so disappointed because I couldn't stand the movie. That's happened quite a lot. And I credit all of my, my film critic uh, friends and acquaintances uh, that have time and time again uh, proven this point by giving movies by beloved filmmakers of theirs just absolute pans. Because when a movie sucks and you feel that it sucks, you gotta say, it sucks. Um, so yeah, we all do have our own personal uh, biases uh, against or for certain people in the film community, but uh, generally speaking, the difference between that and the access media is, is that we don't let it influence what we're writing at all. And if you do, you're a hack, and you might as well just be writing for the access media. That's all I got for now. Drive safely. Talk to you later.